Welcome back to Emotional Mojo. So how do you define pretty? Well, the answer, not as simple as you think. And our next guest is the author of The Guilt-Free Guide to Fashion, Dr. Denise Mose. She joins us to help us find our inner beauty and confidence. Welcome. Thank you so much. I so our it. inner beauty, I mean, people talk about this all the time, right? It's the inside that counts and right. this and that. What does that really mean, your inner beauty? What that means to me is that what, you have, what you've already been born with, but you're just bringing forth to the entire world because everyone has a sense of beauty. Everyone has beautifulness. And what I try to encourage women and men is to understand that you are already born with something amazing inside you. Let's bring that out and show the world. Yeah, it's bringing it out. I like that. I like yeah. that, right? Yeah. So you started your career as a teacher. Now you're an author, a fashion expert, entrepreneur, yeah. a life coach. I mean, yeah. what's your secret to success? Hard work, good old fashioned hard work. I loved teaching, I taught for 14 years from kindergarten to college, truly enjoyed it, but just knew I could do more than the classroom. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what that was, and that's where my mentor really changed my life, and here we are five years later. So I think that's interesting because you talk about mentorship. Absolutely. And how uh, yeah. important yeah. is mentorship? Because that's something that I absolutely yeah. swear yes. by. It, it changed my life. It, Lynn Burnett is my mentor, and he saw something in me from my church. He said, Denise, you're doing all these great things. You're a teacher, you're a PhD, all these cool things. Mm -hmm. what, you know, what you can, you can do more. And I said, yeah, I just don't know how. And so he said, let's look inside what you've got, and let's just make it happen. So everybody needs wow. that somebody in their life. But yeah. how do you find a mentor? I mean, you guys, you, talk, you do talk about yeah, it a lot. But you can't just, like, go up to somebody and be like, right. hey, want to be my mentor? Like, yeah. how do you do that? Well, actually, you do. But you Denise, do. Right? Yeah. Yeah. You, 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 it, it's, it's a, it's a no risk. Pressure. It's yeah. a risk. You take some trust. You know, you. I, I've learned that on this journey as an entrepreneur, my inner circle has changed. The friends I had five years ago, I don't have today. Yeah. The people who were in my corner five years ago are not there today. Yeah. It's a whole different, you know, diverse group, and I'm so thankful for that because you need diversity to grow. Yeah. When you do something different, you need someone that doesn't look like you, doesn't talk like you. Let's make this thing work and get some synergy. Going. And it obviously has to be someone that you really look up to, Absolutely. that you know is has a lot to be able to teach you. And who you. has gone down the road I'm trying to go. Lynn Burnett is a right. successful multimillionaire entrepreneur, drives a red pickup truck. You never know he was rich, uh -huh. wealthy, excuse me, because there's a difference. There is a difference. <laughs> and he has, has been successful. He's got three or four businesses. He's yeah. very humble. Uh, he gives back to the community. He mentors other yep. people. So, so I, said, you were like, I said, wait a minute, this guy's got it together. Yeah. I need to follow him. Yeah. He's, he's, he's already yeah. there. What's the secret? Yeah. Mm. yeah. Okay, so let's talk about this. You say women dress to fail. Yes. You say they make three mistakes. What are those uh -oh. mistakes? Mm. Dum -dum -dum. Please don't let them be anything we're doing right <laughs> now. Because we, we don't know them yet. Right. What are the mistakes and why do we make them? One of the mistakes is that we depend on, now Jay, know this, we, we depend on fashion to define what we are and what we should look okay. like. I love Naomi Campbell. She's amazing and she's awesome, but I can't quite wear what she's got on. Right. Uh, so that's one thing. We depend on the fashion world. Two, we, we, we think we're sex objects, female sometimes. You know, I'm, I'm female. I've got all these things going for me. So we, we think we're sex you objects. Should. So too much, so too much. Yes. Yeah. And then lastly, <laughs> we think that our background financially hinders us from being more. You don't have to have, have Donna Karen under pair of black slacks to look great. You can go to the dollar store, find some yeah. great slacks, find some style, and there you go. Hello, there's I need a whole to song about dollar store. <laughs> right? There's a whole song about pocket there is. tags. Yeah, I, I, I consult with so many people. I, I, I meet so many women who I consult with who have spent so much money on these clothes, and they look awful. Yeah. I said, you know, I, I understand Marquesa. I get Gucci. I get Versace, yes. However, you don't need that to look great. They're wonderful, but everybody can't do that. So let's find what makes you look great. Let's afford it. Let's look awesome. Well, and it's those yeah. basics too that you can Absolutely. buy that are, are you know a little bit less money. Exactly. And you can use them over and, and over again. It. And if they fit you well, then that works. When you see runway videos like yeah. this, I mean, who's wearing that? Who's wearing yeah. that white no. skirt? Exactly. To work. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> or anyway. Exactly. Right? I mean, I don't you know, know where I would wear that. And these show, and I love fashion. And, you know, I'm a, you know I go to Fashion Week every every year in New York, and it's amazing. And but the reality is, people who go to those fashion, people who actually can afford to do that, yeah. and that's just not every, every, everybody's pocket. So I make sure I try to, in my book, talk about from this pocket, I said from the dollar store to Donna Karen, you can do all in between. And there is a yeah. connection. Maybe Jada, you can explain being a counselor, a connection yeah. between the way we dress and how confident we feel. Mm -hmm. It mm -hmm. actually does affect how you do at work and clothes on dates. Are, yeah. and, clothes, yeah. are, clothes are very empowering. They really are. Um, my mother always said, when you want to be flashy and do something red, wear red or blue or pops of yeah, green. Yeah, the president you wears know, just, you know, blue ties. Exactly. 
um, color exactly. Colors. So clothes are very empowering. They make you feel better. You're having a bad day, throwing a great suit, throwing That's a exactly scarf, what I do. Earrings, I'm feeling bad. And I dress and dress up, and you're like, you know what? I, you feel better. But you look great today. Well, thank you. Wow. I, yeah, don't put I, that yeah, headache. Head so yeah, <laughs> it makes a difference. They really empower you, but make you feel better. When does that start to turn unhealthy, though? You know, if someone when relies you on it too much, can't leave your house without being dressed up and without having a full face of makeup. Sure. Okay. It starts to wear on your self-esteem because right, you okay. think you need it. We don't need it. Don't. It enhances what we already have. Exactly. Right, that's in right. And, and, and makeup and fashion is, is designed to enhance, not replace. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. we already have some great efforts anyway. So it's just designed to uh, create more what you already have. Thank you so yeah. much, Dr. Absolutely. Denise Mo. She's the author of the book, The Guilt-Free Guide to Fashion. Make sure you guys check that out. It's available online.